Hey guys, um, welcome back. This is going to be a little bit different, um, just because this time we're not in the garage. Um, so the project uh, this time is um, putting a proper wiring harness in the car. So some of you guys know I've been fighting with a misfiring issue. Um, I've been through the engine inside and out. I've done every single test I mean that you could possibly think of and not had any success diagnosing the issue. So I'm fairly certain at this point that it's an issue with the Evo wiring harness um, or with the way that I installed it. So the plan is uh, to go ahead and pull the wiring harness out of the car, which you can see I've done here, um, and combine it with a left-hand drive Mirage harness um, to build a proper left-hand drive Evo harness. So the Evo 4, 5, and 6, is, most of them uh, were right-hand drive. It's really, really rare to find one of the left-hand drive versions, um, and getting parts from one is basically impossible. So rather than trying to track down a left-hand drive Evo harness, uh, I've decided that I'm just going to build my own. Um, so the way, you would, the way that I'm planning on doing it is... Um, I've picked up a, uh, I think it's a 9798 harness. Um, it's a 1.8 liter Mirage harness. Um, and the reason you would use that, and it has to be the five speed one, uh, that way it's got the proper, uh, connectors for the manual transmission on it. And the reason you use the 1.8 and not the 1.5 is the 1.8, uh, uses a coil pack ignition system very similar to the Evo uh, in fact it uses the same connectors so it, it really simplifies making the harness um, some guys actually just use the Mirage harness and they've had pretty good success with that and they just add the wires uh, externally that they that they need um, there's a few wires that the Evo or that the uh, Mirage harness does not have um, Right off the bat, I can think the wastegate solenoid is wiring is not going to be there. Uh, a couple other little things like that, um, which I'll be documenting as I as I build the harness. Um, I just finished pulling the harness out of the car, so I haven't had a chance to really go through these too in depth yet. Uh, but so far, I've noticed a few major differences. Uh, so the Evo harness is the top harness, and the Mirage harness is the lower harness. Um, you can tell that the Mirage harness on the bottom is significantly longer. Uh, the reason is because it's a left-hand drive harness and the engine configurations are the same. Uh, so they had to run the wiring harness all the way to the other side of the car uh, because the ECU ECUs are always mounted in the passenger's kick panel for the Mirage and the Evo. So uh, with the exception of a couple weird automatic versions. But... Um, but for the most part, we can just assume that. Uh, so you think, you know, in, in an Evo, the passenger side is the left side of the car, if you're sitting in the car. And that's why the the harness is so much shorter for the Evo, uh, because it doesn't have to run all the way to the other side of the car. The lower harness, ha the wires have to run all the way to the right side of the car um, to reach the ECU. And that's also where they... Uh, connect to the uh, um, dash harness and the accessory harness. So, at least one of the places, or some of the places. So, a um, couple of other notice, there are things that I've noticed that are different um, that I'm going to have to look at. So, a big thing right away is the Evo's got a ton of extra wires that I didn't use and don't need. Um, some of them I had to cut to to pull the harness out of the car. I didn't really want to pull the dash um, or the heater boxes, which I ran these behind. Uh, so th the way that I made the right-hand drive harness work it was rather than trying to extend all of the wires for the ECU, um, I ended up just cutting a hole in the center of the firewall and running the wires through a new spot in the firewall and I mounted the ECU in the middle uh, underneath the heater boxes, underneath the shifter cables. And that, that worked fine. Um, the, the misfiring issue, I'm not sure if it was related to that. I thought maybe I had some chafing wires, but the ECU wires look okay. Um, 
I think the issue is there's a couple of extra relays in the Evo harness, and there's a lot of extra things that I'm not sure what they are, uh, but we'll get to that here in a second. So um, all of these wires here, with the exception of these two connectors, these are uh, starter and I think engine run relays. Uh, they're, they're main power relays for the car, but and, and then there's a ground in here somewhere This ground that's common between the two harnesses, but all of these extra connectors here I have no idea what they are. I mean there's a huge bundle of wires here and It just it didn't go anywhere uh, None of them actually connect to anything uh, I'm assuming that a couple of these, I think this one, and then maybe one or two other of these were for AYC ABS. I think I think it was these two. Go to the AYC computer. Could be wrong, but maybe it's this one. But anyway, I digress. Um, some of these were for the AYC system. Uh, some of them were for ABS. But even that leaves a couple of these. I'm not sure where they're supposed to go. But um, all of that stuff is unnecessary, so any extra wiring is going to be removed. Um, so, I mean, I'll, obviously that stuff was going to go anyway. That's why I just chopped the connectors off to make pulling it through the firewall easier. So, uh, some more things that are different. The Evo has this that mounts to the firewall. This is the injector resistor pack. And there's another resistor pack here that I'm not sure what it's for. Um, as I throw that. So, when you go to uh, high Z injectors on an Evo, you buy a resistor pack delete. So I don't use that anyway. There is no resistor pack on the Mirage uh, because it uses high Z injectors stock. So I don't think I'm going to bother adding in the, the wiring for the resistor pack. I can do it later if I need to, but since I'm running high Z injectors anyway, and I don't really see myself ever switching back to low Z injectors, um, I probably will just leave it as is. Um, some other differences. There's these relays here. This, this relay. Um, I don't know what these do. This goes to that resistor pack right here. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, the Mirage doesn't have any of that stuff. Uh, and I know for a fact that you, the car runs will, will run fine just because I have a couple of buddies who run these. And they run Mirage harnesses with 4G64 and Evo heads. So I know that the car runs fine without them with this harness. So I have no idea what those are for. That's something I need to try to figure out. These connectors here that I kind of blocked off with tape, these were for ABS system. Um, this plug here did not have a home. I don't know what it's supposed to be for. So lots of extra wires here that are not necessary that need to be gotten rid of. Um, and that's something that I'll be doing. Well, actually, like I'm going to leave this harness alone so that I've got a reference harness always. Uh, and I'll just be adding wires to this harness that I need. That way I can always go back to this harness and see if there's something that I need to add or something that's different. Uh, so this harness is basically untouched. So um, so I'm not going to bother adding any of that stuff because I'm pretty sure I don't need it. Um, the Another big difference that I noticed... Um, so there's different versions of harness interconnects on different year cars. Some of these had eight pins, some had six pins. Uh, this is an eight pin version that came on my Mirage. I had to repin it to this this uh, Evo harness because it uh, had a six pin. Being an older year, my Mirage is a 2000, it used the eight pin. Uh, the wires are all the same. You just have to pin them in properly. Uh, you know, I didn't even have to change the uh, the pins. I just unpinned them from the old one and then slotted them right into that connector. They work fine. This harness uses ten connector, which I've actually never seen before. Um, but it's not really a big deal. I'll end up just um, either getting another one of those eight pins or from from like a pull yard, or I will just. 
um, take that one and then put it here. It doesn't really matter if I take that connector off of that harness because, again, the wires that is, it uses are all the same. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's actually eight wires in this one, and there's only seven in this. So that's something I'll have to figure out. But um, anyway, they, they pretty much always do the same thing. Uh, I know some of them had a starter wire and some didn't. So maybe that's the extra wire in this one. Uh, so generally that connector is AC compressor, uh, the power for the fans, and I think there's a couple other little things that run through there, like the AC compressor signal wire that triggers the compressor to kick on. It's nothing vital to the engine. Um, it's just accessories. So I've got to figure out that. Um, I noticed that the... Uh, well, this is a small one. The Evo 4 uses a 2-wire O2 sensor. I'm using an Evo 8 sensor, so I made this harness. Uh, this car is set up for the four wire O2, so that's something I don't have to mess with. Um, this car, let me see, if I'm not mistaken here. Yeah, so this is the um, oh, crankshaft position sensor um, plug. And most of them are, the, are that plug. This one uses a different plug, actually. And it's the same plug that you would normally see on a coil pack. So I've got a. I'm gonna see if the pins work in the other connector. They might. They might not. Uh, regardless, I need to change that connector. That's a small thing that I'll have to do. Um, another thing that's different. Uh, this uh, use, uses the. This is the, the Evo harness has the regular. Uh, injector plugs that you would see on an Evo. Uh, since I've got Injector Dynamic 1700 CC injectors, I've got these adapters for the Bosch, uh, I think, EV6 injector plug. This car does not use those injector plugs. These are Nip and Denso injector connectors. So um, I will have to see if I can get adapters or I may just end up buying a connector kit for the Bosch connectors and then uh, cutting these off and then pinning them on uh, so st just small things like that um, hopefully it won't be too big of a job to get this harness converted over and get rid of all this extra garbage that I don't need that's on this harness by using this one and I think it'll be a fairly easy job so uh, my plan as of now uh, this is gonna be extremely tedious but it's the only way that I can think of to um, make sure that this gets done properly is go through and test continuity on every single wire in both harnesses and compare them uh, just to make sure that the the pinouts are the same that everything goes where it needs to go um, and I think I think it won't be too bad it's just gonna be just gonna be a huge pain um, so need to do that um, since I've got the harness out you can see that I've already de-loomed some of this um, there are currently 81 wires in this bundle right here I know I need to add a few um, for the like I said for the at least for the wastegate solenoid if nothing else um, and then once I get the harness figured out I'm planning on chopping the harness right here and putting on a firewall bulkhead plug. Um, so one of my the things that I absolutely hate about Mitsubishi's um, is that the harness runs through the firewall, but there's no disconnect. Uh, and that would be okay if they didn't bolt the grounds to the firewall behind the heater boxes where you can't get to them without pulling the dash. It's a stupid design. Uh, on Subarus, there is one plug in the engine bay. You unplug it and you can pull the engine out, and it's not a big deal. Uh, on this, you literally have to remove the harness from the engine or pull the dash. So I think that's a stupid design. Uh, that's one thing that Subaru did right that Mitsubishi did not. 
Um, so we're going to fix that by using uh, aircraft grade uh, connectors. Uh, something that I need to check, these two thick brown wires here um, are shielded. I th I'm going to have to chop them to be able to run that. I think what I'll do is isolate them in the plug. So I'll put a pin in and then leave the pins surrounding them empty so they're isolated. I don't think that I, I will have any crosstalk uh, or any uh, noise that's going to be an issue um, just from, you know, that little bitty plug. And resistance shouldn't be an issue either. Uh, I know it's a cr they're crimp-on plugs, but if you think about it, the connectors themselves are also crimp-on, so there's really not much difference. And the amount of resistance that you're going to see different shouldn't affect um, these these sensors. They're pretty simple. Uh, those two are crank angle and cam angle sensors. That's what those are. So I think that shouldn't be a big deal. Um, so that's the plan for that. Um, and then again, when it's all done, I'm planning on delooming this entire thing and putting on the, uh, that fancy stretchy, um, fishnet looking, uh, loom just to make it look a little nicer and a little bit more professional. So yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I'm going to get started on figuring out all this stuff on the harness and I wouldn't expect an update in the next couple of weeks just because or in the next couple of days anyway just because this is going to be such a big job um it's a huge blessing that i was able to actually get this harness removed today um our weather has been single digits and below zero lately outside uh, it's the middle of january and um we just happened to have a 40 degree day today like just randomly so I went out to the garage as soon as I got home from work and started tearing that harness out. It took me four hours to remove it, but it's done. Uh, it's supposed to get cold again here in two or three days. So um, <laughs> just in the nick of time. But uh, uh, And it should only take me a day to put all of this back together once it's done. Um, it sucks that I won't be able to start the car and, and run it to keep fluids flowing through it in the meantime. Um, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess, to get it done. So anyway, that's the update for now, guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer and, uh, I'll see you guys next time.